hello everybody good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are in the world um this video i want to give you a heads up that this video will have some esoteric elements to my sharing um and this video is around the feeling of flow now there are certain aspects of my awareness and experiences in life that I do not yet have the vocabulary to articulate what I am feeling um, and these videos help me to strengthen my vocabulary in order to articulate what I'm feeling. That being said, um, I will try to speak a little bit about what flow really means um, and try to describe what it feels like. So I just got off a call with a very close friend of mine and I was sharing with her some insights that I had around um, a particular situation that she had. Um, the situation involved um, two people and I was able to give um, some perspective from both looking from each other's eyes and lens. Um, and that can be <laughs> that can be done. Um, actually that's actually done in a spiritual way you know if you have the ability to see from different perspectives you are actually spiritually shape-shifting into each person's worlds and um seeing from their eyes whether you knew that you were doing it or not that's exactly that's actually what you're doing so if you if you are a mediator or a person that has that natural ability to mediate conflict um, to bring people together, you have an ability to shape shift into each person's worlds and see from each person's um, perspectives. But anyways, um, besides that, um, you know, was she what she shared with me was her her appreciation for bringing clarity, for bringing some ease to her situation um, or bringing some ease into how she was embracing um what she got out of that situation and what i shared with her which was something that i as i was sharing it with her it would really help me to anchor it in truth which is that i am able to give clarity and perspectives on situations when i'm not attached to the situation or the persons right so there's no emotional attachment there is a lot of love, immense, deep, unbounded love for her and for the other person that was in a situation, yet I was not emotionally attached. And essentially, she, you know, she asked me, what, were, what were you doing today? How is your day going? And I'm like, you know, well, my day is, my day has been beautiful. I've been sitting in a place of flow i've been sitting and immersing in myself and going deeper in myself and that allowed me to conversate with her from a place of pure unconditional love without um again attachment to an outcome of um the experience that she was having or had um and i was able to just give my insights and I realized that from this place of flow that I have been able to not only manifest abundance in my life, physical abundance in my life, but really embrace um, this unbounded nature of myself and be able to see the various dimensions, spiritual dimensions of myself. So the person that you and I are seeing right now is only a fragment, a fragment of, of, of who it is that we truly are. So 90%, I don't know, maybe say 99.9% .9 is not in physical form. And what we're seeing is only like 1% or 0.1%. And this 0.1% is attached to the things that we think are real. So I was sharing with her that as I'm sitting in this state of flow, I'm becoming so detached from 
what is physical and there is this beauty and freedom behind that um yeah there is fear around detaching and recognizing that the whole journey of ascension the whole journey of enlightenment which all these teachers and gurus and i mean we're i feel we're all gurus right um but the journey of life is really detaching the more and more we can detach um is the more and more we're able to immerse into our non-physical form um and detachment is different from rejecting something right um so it's not about packing up your stuff and going living in the the himalayans or going off grid or something but it's about energetically not giving um weight not giving energy to certain experiences outside of us and so that and that even includes um not having expectations of others not having expectations of a particular situation you're into not having an outcome and an attachment to that outcome and over time what happens is that in addition to really going into your essence through meditation um you begin to feel the subtleness the subtle aspects of 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 the non-physical world so with your eyes closed as you're going into your essence i'm able to feel as I'm going into my own essence, I'm able to feel the subtle aspects of who I am. And then beyond the aspects of who I am, there's all these various spiritual worlds, these non-physical worlds that exist. There's no there. So it's not, I would don't want to even say non-physical world that exists out there. There's no out there and I'm here. With this body, we feel that separation. And so when we, um, with our eyes closed and when we're tuned in with ourselves, we expand ourselves outside of this not this physical form. And then we start to feel the subtleness of the non-physical. So as I am going more and more into flow, which is really coming from me going more and more into my essence, on a really deep level there is some fear comes up because the mind is realizing that it is losing control because the mind can only exist when it is being attached to what it thinks is real um and that's what that's what this whole dance is all about we're really moving from we're constantly moving from living in the mind back into the seat of the soul living in the mind back into the seat of the soul and it's like this tango dance that we're doing and then over time we tend to then now start to just go right back into really going right back into um our seat of a soul you know whether it's through meditation um, with practice, it becomes, it starts to feel like something you're doing naturally, where you're just like going back into the seat of your soul and living and seeing life from the seat of your soul, which allows you to see from different perspectives, which allows you to, to really have more clarity in life. Um, 
And I'm sharing this with you, um, not because I got this awareness like just today. <laughs> it's something that I've always been aware of all my life, yet I've struggled with allowing the seat of my soul to be the main focal point. Um, having more of a tendency to live from the seat of my mind. So I invite you right now let's do this together let's i invite you to gently close your eyes and join me as we go into the seat of our soul taking a deep breath in and breathing out control Taking a deep breath in and breathing out fair. Another deep breath in. Breathing out the need to know what's going to happen next. I invite you now to bring your attention to your heart. Really bring your focus to your heart. And if it helps, I invite you to bring your right hand over your heart. And if you have your right hand on your heart, just feel the pulsing, the pulsing vibration of your heart. Feel the heart against your hand. And notice the subtle nature of your heart. It's pumping, pumping, pumping without control. Just feel, feel the vibration of your heart. If you're already energetically sensitive, just note, simply notice any vibration that's emitting from your heart into your hand. Taking a deep breath in. And on your exhale, bring your attention back into your center and gently open your eyes. Now, that subtle essence of, of your heart, that subtle energy from your heart is really a glimpse. It's an example. It is, it is. It's an aspect of your, your true non-physical nature, right? But that breathing meditation was really helping you to just really bring your attention back into awareness. So you're not thinking about, you're not really, you're not even thinking about the, thinking about um, the beating of your heart, but you're trying to just simply feel. And that's why it's so important to practice feeling you know and being okay to feel because over time you give yourself permission and the freedom to feel the subtle nature of the spiritual realms the spiritual worlds of your own non-physical form um And I, yeah, I really want to encourage you to continue practicing feeling your non-physical form because I can guarantee you it is such a beautiful experience to be in the physical body yet experience your non-physical nature. Um, it really helps to shift your perspective from a limited, focused, 
living from this very small limited perspective into a more grand perspective and you're able to see life from all angles um yeah i i feel like i'm just living now i'm i'm starting to live simply because i'm giving myself permission to flow and to be at ease and that flow and ease comes from living from the seat of your soul and allowing yourself to feel the subtle essence the subtle nature of your non-physical being i wish you i'm wishing you a wonderful day wherever you are um i am having a meditation workshop that's coming up on march 31st it's called sabali it's which means patience it's african um it's Af it's an african word which means patience and it's a combination this workshop will have a combination of breathing movement and drumming i'm collaborating with amazing friends um, masani and joel masani is this amazing african dancer um she's canadian born yet her practice of movement is of the african various african dancing um and joel is an amazing drummer very in tune with sound through different drums so it's going to be um a beautiful combination um i'll be guiding your a meditation practice for you so come out and join may 31st you can find more details on my website www naya n a y a a dot c a um there's more details and you can register for it okay lots of love from my heart to yours you are so divine you are so magnificent and i love you bye